Hey, good afternoon, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick halftime reaction to our Eagles that are losing 17-7. to The only good thing they did in the back half of that second half was finally supply some pressure to Derek Carr, who had 16 straight completions before he they finally got the pressure on that pass to Hunter Renfro there to force the field goal. The only bugaboo and big problem for the Eagles is the Raiders receive the ball, and they have been marching down the field most of the time against the defense because it's just been too easy. That's the flip side. Jonathan Vilma is exactly correct. By the way, if you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget at the end of the video. But Vilma's absolutely correct. The flip side of that is it's too easy. You're not pressuring enough. You're not supplying enough pressure in the Eagles. It sounds like a broken record so far this year, but again, they're not getting to a quarterback enough. They're making it very easy for the quarterback. Josh Jacobs, I'm in limited action now. He's, unfortunately for the Raiders, going out of the game, fortunately for us, was able to have 29 yards and that key touchdown that he ran to the outside prior to getting injured on the play. He got banged up on. And then, of course, Kenyon Drake also has 22 yards himself. But the Eagles, they just all of a sudden, in the back half of that first half, the Eagles' defense just did not supply the same, at least compete level, it seemed like they had early in the game when they played a little bit better in the first quarter. In that second quarter, they fortunately were able to pressure them when I think it was Sweat that was able to get to Derek Carr, and then that's what was able to make that incompletion to Hunter Renfro, but they were fortunate to be able to have that one play that led to an incompletion. That whole rest of that drive, they were trash. And then they had the one interception that was a nice deflection that Maddox was able to catch. But you figure if there was not a deflection in order to cause that pick, the Raiders could already have more points right now because they were marching down on that drive well. And the Eagles, again, after having a great first drive, actually very good play call and mixing in some runs, unfortunately for the Eagles, our back's down too and Miles Sanders, and it looked like we were going to mix him in a little bit better early in this game. But there was nothing after that for the Eagles offense. They were able to march down on that one drive, but then they got the penalty on Dickerson that brought them back. And that's just been the story of their lives pretty much to start this season and why they're one of the reasons why they're at a two and four record right now and not a little bit better and have a chance to be a little bit more of a competitive team albeit not expected to be a playoff team this year. So it's, again, the Eagles haven't applied enough pressure on the quarterback. That's what happens when there's 16 straight passes. Obviously, they're going to have success. They got good pressure there on the last play to be able to limit the field goal, but the problem is the Raiders get the football, so they're going to need a big play on defense again to kind of turn the tide and turn the momentum of this game because after that first drive, the Raiders have pretty much captured the momentum of this game and have had it ever since. It's not been a high-scoring game, obviously, at 17-7, to but that's because of the tipped pick. That was a nice play by Maddox, but also fortunate for the Eagles because they were marching down on that drive. I think the Raiders honestly would have got points if that did not happen. And then you, of course, have the nice play for Hunter Renfro that they were able to force that incompletion there when he was trying to throw it to Renfro. But other than that, and the first drive of the game, there aren't really positive to spell out for our Eagles in this one. There was also, I guess the other one is that nice play that Hurts was able to get it to Devontae Smith, and he caught the ball in bounds while toe-dragging. He must point out that play. But other than that, the Eagles need to supply more pressure. Their offense needs to be more creative like it was on that one drive and actually calling more plays and not just playing out of the shotgun all the time. I like seeing that from Sirianni. I don't like how Sirianni, for some reason, just decided to not decline that one penalty when it looked like the Raiders were going to punt. And then Zay Jones, of course, caught the ball. But he seems to be calling a wee bit better game this week. So if he can build off of that in the second half, the Eagles can supply a little bit more pressure on defense, hopefully stop the Raiders or get a key turnover on the first possession. And then they still have a chance in this game. But if they come out like they played the end of that first half, then this game is already over because the Raiders are probably going to score on the first possession, and that would pretty much seal the deal at that point. This has been a halftime report on the Philadelphia Eagles and Raiders. The Eagles right now are losing 17-7. to Subscribe down below or up above if you enjoy the content. Peace out, everybody. Fly, Eagles, fly. Let's come back in the second half. Peace.